During the nature tour, all the children learned about the separation of substances. But many questions were still arising in Sahil's mind about the separation of substances. Sahil was thinking about this and was walking towards his home. There are different types of substances. Can substances can be separated somehow from different types of mixtures? While thinking about this, he reaches home. How was your day today, Sahil? Very good, Ma. Today we collected dry leaves and pebbles for the art exhibition. And there Rohit Bhaiya taught us to separate the mixture of different substances. Oh wow! So today's class was held in the garden. Separating substances from the mixture, what is the need of it? So will you drink tea with tea leaves in it? Sahil, Rhea wants to learn something. Explain it to her properly. Sorry Ma. Not to me. Say it to Rhea. Sorry Rhea. Okay, tell me this. Have you ever seen rice or lentils being cooked at home? Yes. Whenever Ma or Papa cook, I see everything. So while making rice, what we do first? First of all, we take some rice in a plate. Remove pebbles or stones or any other impurities from them. So rice and impurities, it is a mixture. Is it necessary to separate them? Yes, we will not eat impurities along with the rice, right? So that's why it is important to separate the substances from the mixture and it is not necessary that one substance in the mixture is harmful or the other useful. Sometimes both substances can be useful. Just like when mother makes butter, I eat butter and drink the buttermilk too. Sahil and Rhea laugh very loud. If your play is over now, would you help me and your father? Yes. yes. Father, what are you cooking today? Sahil, we are making biryani and pakoras in food today. Ma, do we also have chutney with the pakoras? Don't worry, we have it. Today we will make hung curd. Father started preparing for biryani and mother started to cut vegetables for it. Sahil, give me a big pot. All the pebble and stones are separated from the rice. I just want to wash away the small impurities. Sahil was watching his father washing rice with great care. He noticed that with the help of water too, many impurities got out of rice. He quickly asked the father this question. Father, today in school, I have learned about the separation of substances such as separating pebble stones by hand, separating the dust with the help of air. But what is this process of removing impurities with the help of water? Sahil, we clean most things in the kitchen in the same way like rice, lentils and vegetables. And as far as I remember, we call this process sedimentation and decantation. Two names of the same process? Oh no Sahil. See, when you mix water and dal or rice, some particles start floating and some particles sit down. Why don't you try it by yourself? Sahil puts rice in a big pot and pours water into it. He sees that small impurities started floating in the water and the rice sat down in the surface of the pot. When heavy substances settle down and separates, that process is called sedimentation. Oh wow! In this way, not only solid mixtures can be separated, but mixtures of liquid and solids can also be separated. This is very easy. Now with the sieve, I will remove all these impurities. Perfect Sahil. And do you know that this process is called decantation? Oh wow! Our kitchen looks like a laboratory. There is so much here that we learn in class. Okay, will the two of you keep experimenting now or you will help me a bit? Mother, how will we make hunkard? It is very easy. We just have to separate all the water from this curd. Mother, even in this, two substances can be separated. Should I try? Sahil tried to drain the water from the pot. 
but not a single drop of water was separated. Son, there is no process of settling and sedimentation over here. To separate the water from the curd, we will keep the curd in a cloth for a while and all the water will separate from the cloth and thus hung curd will be ready. Oh wow! This is another way to separate two substances. And it is called filtration. Here the cloth is acting like a filter. Mother, we are making so many items to eat. Let's make something to drink. Ma, can I make lemon water? I know how to make it. Okay, fine. As long as your father and I are cooking, you both prepare lemonade. Ria, first take a little water. Make sugar in it until I bring lemon. Ria put four spoons of sugar in a little water and started dissolving it. Sahil brother, I have been stirring this for a long time, but the remaining sugar is not dissolving. You have taken very little water. Try adding a little more water to it. After adding some more water, the remaining sugar also dissolves. Hey, the remaining sugar dissolved. But why this sugar was not dissolving in less water? Mother heard all this and she came to Rhea and Sahil because this solution is now a saturated solution. Saturated solution means? Only a small amount of sugar will dissolve in some amount of water. When sugar stops dissolving in water, it means that it is a saturated solution. Mother, now my mind has also become saturated and the stomach is empty. Everyone starts laughing and gets ready to eat. So today, Ria and Sahil learned many things while helping their parents. You can also learn many things about science in your home.